Hey guys, what's up? Gray here, and today I will be showing you how to set up your first VR project in Unity. First, I will go over the basics of setting up a VR project, and then I will show you what you need to import to get your headset working. This tutorial is specifically for Oculus Quest 2, but Unity does support a wide variety of headsets. Lastly, I will build the project in Android while the Quest is plugged into my computer. To play, all you have to do is go into Apps and click the drop down at the top right, select Unknown Sources, and run it there. Unless, if you build and run it in Unity, then it will start automatically. We we'll want to start off by creating a new project, and here we can create a new 3D project and call it whatever you like. This is just going to be called my VR YouTube. That's what I'll call it, create, and wait for it to load up. Alright, once Unity is open, you'll want to go to File, Build Settings, and here we're going to select Android. Also, make sure you add the scene so that it, uh, builds this specific scene into the APK. So select Android and switch platform. Now go to player settings and here you can set your company name. I'll just set that as Gray Shadows and then you can set the product name and the version, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. The last thing you'll want to do is change graphics API. You'll want to move the OpenGL up and just remove Vulkan, you don't really need it. Um, it just saves time, so might as well remove it. And make sure that you're on API um, at least 23 Marshmallow, because it'll give you an error if you're not. Next, you want to install the XR plugin. So install the XR plugin there, and select Oculus. This will install the packages. It shouldn't take too long. Now that all of those are done, you can exit out of these, and you'll want to head to the Asset Store. You can find this in the Asset Store on Unity, or you can go into the website. I just uh, looked it up here on the website, and then I click Open in Unity, and it should open straight up. Opens up from Package Manager, and you can just import right there. If it says Download, just hit Download, and then hit Import. Um, but once this loads up, you can just hit Import again, and it will import all of the packages for Oculus integration. If it asks you if you want to update the Oculus Utilities plugin, just hit yes. It'll update to the latest version. This will make it so there are no bugs. And then once the OVR plugin has been updated, you'll want to restart your Unity. It might ask you to upgrade the Oculus Spatializer plugins. I would upgrade that as well and restart. All right, there we are. We have our project let's just create a 3d plane here so that we can get um, something going here so now that we have a plane for us to run around on let's make it a layer I want to make sure that there are a ground layer perfect and then we'll set this to be the ground and uh, that means that anything that has a collider will actually stop and won't fall through it now we have a nice ground to walk around on. And now you want to open up Oculus and go to VR. Inside of the prefabs, you'll want to throw in the OVR player character controller. Throw it in right here. And now we have this camera. So basically, it is replacing the main camera, so we can just get rid of that. And this just puts your character or your Oculus headset right in. Let's put it Y at 2, maybe Y at 1. Perfect. So now we can actually launch this in our Oculus. We'll want to go to Build Settings and hit Build. You want to come to Default Device and make sure your Oculus is selected or whatever headset you have there, and then hit Build and Run. Make sure you give this a name. I'll just call this VR YouTube and save. Now you want to make sure that your headset is ready and as soon as it runs. So make sure that you have selected that your headset can read files and that it is actually connected to your computer and that Unity can see it. Once that is all complete and it builds, then you will see it running in your Oculus Awesome, we are in the game now. I can move around, I can do whatever I want. Uh, however you code this just really depends. 
See, I can move left and right. There's probably a way to code in the 360 movement as well, so you could look into that. There's endless possibilities with this, and I'm excited to see what all you can think of. All right, here we are in a sample scene from Unity, and it looks like our controllers are not correct, but you get the idea. Um, there you go. If you want to replace the controller, you can just replace the, uh, the image there, the 3D model, because it's just the same 3D model as all these other things. And uh, yeah, so you can pick these things up. So there I'm holding the, um, I wish it actually showed the controller because it was showing it earlier. But once you figured it out and it shows the controller, see you can pick up all these blocks and stuff. I don't know why I'm starting, but that's all right. So see you can play with all these and you can use this as um, a test scene to get the controllers working. All right, here we are in the same world. I wanted to show you that the Octopus controllers do work. And uh, here I'm hitting buttons. You can see that I am actually moving and hitting the buttons. That's pretty cool. Um, it auto updates, so if you want this to be your default controller, then so be it. If you want to change it, um, just like I showed in the last clip, you can set it as a different hand or pointer or whatever kind of cursor you choose. There are lots you can do with this. I will be continuing to work in Unity and show off my progress. If you did enjoy, please drop a like. Stick around for more content soon. But thank you all for watching and have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.